Hello young guys and hello Jirik Fizzy Ron Army. A very warm welcome to Deeksha Vedantu YouTube channel. I'm your master teacher Neha Bam. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the magnetic effects of electric current within 30 minutes. As we have discussed about light, human eye, electricity. In today's session, we will be discussing about the magnetic effects of electric current. So, without wasting the time, let's start today's session. Before moving ahead, those who have haven't subscribed the channel yet, just go and subscribe the channel. If you like this video, don't forget to hit to to hit that like button and share the videos with your friends. So without wasting the time, let's start. So effects of electric current. I said was just experimenting. He was just preparing the things to demonstrate the experiment for his student. In this in this time, he accidentally discovered the magnetic field. How was that? This is just a storyline, and nobody is going to ask the question upon this. So just listen and leave it. Okay. So he was connecting the circuit when th there was beside there was a compass, and he saw the deflection in the compass when he on the switch. When he off the switch, there was no deflection, but when he on it, there was deflection. So he got to know that there is some relation between this electricity and magnetism. By this, the discovery of magnetism started. So it was first discovered by H. C. Oyster. Yeah. Stating this, let's move forward. So uh, here you don't need much explanation. Bar magnet is nothing but rectangular piece of magnet which has south pole and north pole. South and north are the two different poles present in the bar magnet. Uh, in charges, we have studied light charges at ripple and unlight charges attract. Similarly, here also. Light poles ripple each other and unlike poles attract poles attract each other. Stating that, let's move. This is the main concept that starts in your textbook or the questions may arise from here. What is magnetic field and what are magnetic field lines? So, what is magnetic field? Is a region around the magnet in which force of the magnet can be detected. If there is a magnet present over here around the region, there will be some force, right? So that region is called as magnetic field, and it's a vector quantity. The SI unit of field intensity, magnetic field intensity, is Tesla. Okay. So yeah, what are magnetic field lines? They are the imaginary lines which depicts the strength and direction of magnetic field. How do we get about the strength? If the lines are more crowded over a particular region, we can see that magnetic field strength is more over there. And direction is given by the alignment of north pole, which you can see on the diagram, right? So the alignment of north pole gives us the direction of magnetic field. I hope that's clear. Properties of magnetic field lines important. They form a closed curve. You can see the line emerges out from north to south, and inside it will be moving from south to north, covering a closed loop. It will never intersect each other. It will never cross each other. If it cross each other, it will show two different directions, which is not possible. The magnetic field lines are crowded near the poles where the field is strong. So where it is crowded more near the poles. Crowded means strength is more. Remember this also. They flow from south to north. As I said, inside it will be flowing from south to north, and outside it will be flowing from north to south. Yes. Moving forward, magnetic field due to current carrying conductor. If a conductor is carrying current, we can see the production of magnetic field by keeping a magnet by keeping a magnetic needle near it, a compass, right? If I change the direction of current, the deflection of the compass also changes. If I increase the strength of current in the conductor, magnetic deflection also increases. So we can see that magnet uh, that is nothing but the magnetic field and current are dependent and directly proportional to each other. Yes. So we see here, there is a conductor in which current is flowing. and over the, around the current the magnetic field is formed as a concentric circles which is important clear a current is flowing the magnetic field is produced as the concentric circles and how to get the direction of concentric circles using right hand thumb rule the thumb points the direction of electric current and the rest of the fingers will depict us the direction of magnetic field so you can put 
you can use your right hand thumb to get the direction of the magnetic field so that's over your screen right just simple as that moving forward due to circular loop if i take the straight wire and make it a circular loop then how will be the magnetic field you can see in the diagram right so here there is an uh, important rule by which you can remember the direction if the current is flowing in anti clockwise direction you can write n it shows the anti clockwise direction what it means if the current in the circuit is flowing anti clockwise direction it's nothing but it is creating a north pole if it is moving in clockwise direction it will be creating south pole clear okay so this is about the magnetic field in the circular loop and in the center you can see a straight line because of the combining of both the concentric circles of two ends of the wire right moving forward we come across solenoid what is solenoid solenoid is nothing but the structure in which a insulated copper wire is wrapped closely in a cylindrical shape so that is solenoid you can consider it to be the many multiple circular loops together okay when we connect this solenoid with the battery current flows through it and the magnetic field of solenoid will be similar to the magnetic field of bar magnet right so it one one end behaves as a south pole other end behaves as a north pole and it behaves the magnetic field is same as the bar magnet moving forward we come across a process of magnetization if you keep a soft iron inside the solenoid the magnetic fields present the strong magnetic fields present in the solenoid makes the uh, iron okay makes that soft iron to a magnet this process of making a magnet is called as magnetization and hence the made magnet is called as electromagnet okay next we come across force on a current carrying conductor there is magnetic field there is electric field and also there is a force that is given by the experiment which you can see on your screen right an al aluminum rod is tied there is a magnet there is a current so you will see the deflection in the rod it's due to the force present on there okay so how to get the direction by the left hand fleming's left hand rule so what fleming's left hand rule states the thumb finger points the direction of force and the four finger gives the direction of magnetic field and the middle finger represents the direction of current so by using this rule you can find the direction of force right yeah and uh, the important thing is they should be mutually perpendicular to each other okay yeah the last concept that is present in the magnetic effect that is domestic electric circuit which is very important in the domestic electric circuit we come across three wires that is earth wire live wire neutral wire what is the function of earth wire if there is presence of excess of current it can be removed through the earth wire what is the function of live wire live wire takes the current through the to the device and neutral wire is used to complete the circuit clear so overloading is caused when this live and neutral wire come together come together in a contact overloading of current if you use many plugs in the switches it will also cause overloading and the effect will be dangerous so the live wire has voltage of 220 volt right it's in red color green color and black color so you can see on your screen right so the frequency is 50 hertz which is in india is this clear okay so yeah this was about today's session i hope you like this session if you have liked it just hit the like button share the video with your friends and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet just go and subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching this video let's meet again in the next session bye bye